Happy New Year! Happy New Year, beautiful people. Our cozy cottage here. Yes, yes, Queen V here. It's been a while. I know it has. I know it has. Guys, I made a video last Thursday. Was going to post it, but I never did. I still may post it, so you may see the video before this one. But if not, I decided not to. But anyway, how's everybody doing? I pray and hope everyone made it into the new year, 2023. Yes, another year is here. And I pray and hope um, last year was a good year for you. <clears throat> if not, I pray that this year be even be better for you and um whatever you're going out there whether it's goals or just to have a better year you know i pray that for you and um it's still a lot going on in my life last time i spoke with you guys um um our church i caught on fire and everything so yes um I, that just made my life a lot more hectic uh, because I have a lot going on, which I've been telling you guys. I'm doing some things personally in my life, trying to better it, and I will be keeping updates with you guys about it. But unfortunately, I had to, I'm still doing it, but I had to put it on hold, and actually it's been on hold for almost a month, which really sickens me because I would... I would have been finished by now but from where so much has been going on <clears throat> with the church fire and and of course I was telling you that I had some deaths um um far as some deaths in the church and and outside the church in my personal life and um it's been kind of kind of hectic so I had to put what I was doing personally just on hold not gonna stop it because I'm about to pick it back up might be by the end of this week or next week so hopefully I can get finished by the end of this month or beginning of February Lord willing but anyway far as with the church um we're gonna we're um our, our pastor is deciding you know we're gonna rebuild um or either we build or if we find another church that he feel is in great great strong condition we'll renovate it um whichever one he decides but i'll let you guys know but right now we're talking rebuild rebuild so but meanwhile we are um we are having services um in one of the hotel conference rooms um down in our area um um, we're grateful for that. They're allowing us to use it every Sunday for service um, until we need it. So that's a blessing. Only thing is, um, Tuesday and Thursdays, we normally have, we have three services a week. Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, we have two services. So four services a week. But uh, we'll be able to have our two services on Sunday. But the Tuesday and Thursday night, um, we're able to watch it um, live on Zoom and on Microsoft Teams uh, because they uh, do live um, services from our headquarters in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So we'll just be doing that for now and instead of having our own local services. But we will be having our local services on Sunday and then we'll be watching live also on Sunday from headquarters after we finish our local service so we're still able to get the holy word which is the main course of our life so everything's you know going well there and you know just um it had it's where well, it's less hectic on me since the fire since we kind of getting things straightened out and finding a place and all that good stuff and you know you know, still waiting on insurance for some things, but, um, you know, it's not as hectic anymore. So that part is slowed down for me. Thank God. Um, and, uh, as far as the deaths, things have, you know, just, um, sending love to the families and praying for the families and everything. And, you know, everybody's being comforted by the Lord. So things are go going good with that. Um, but this past weekend, we had our 
end of the year services for our um, church. Um, so all so many er uh, so many areas in the United States because we're located in so many states in the United States and we're also located overseas. So we had a lot of the areas coming together. We went to Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, at the Sherrington Conference Center, a beautiful conference center. It's very huge, able to hold 5,000 people. So we've been holding our convocations there. Um, and so we ended it there. And, you know, you're talking about all the churches coming from everywhere in the United States and then coming from overseas, Jamaica, Africa, New Zealand, Australia. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> um, Africa, um, the Mauritius Islands, um, yeah, we had them coming from everywhere, and from the United States, is coming from California, from one end of California throughout the states, all the way to uh, Philadelphia, from that end of the states, and and up from Canada up top of the states, all the way to the, the bottom of Texas, you know, so. We're all in between, all outskirts of the United States. So everybody was coming together. So it was another beautiful convocation. It started on Thursday and ended on Sunday um, evening. Uh, but our local area here, we drove up on early Friday morning while it's still dark. We we drove up very early, but we got out there like 10 a.m. on Friday morning at the convocation. So we um, we just watched it on um, live on um, YouTube because it's on it's been on YouTube ever since Thursday. So we watched it live on YouTube on Thursday. So we were able to be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. After the first service, we left and came back home. And I literally didn't get in my house, pull up in my yard till 2 a.m. Monday morning. And you talking about crashing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you can hear in my voice, I'm tired, but I was feeling a little under the weather, you know, a little under the weather, but thank God I was still able to function, you know, doing the, doing the, um, services and everything. Thank God for that. Um, make, you know, um, I didn't get worse than I, than, it, than I started, you know, it was like, it kind of stayed confined to what. Um, I was feeling, you know, yeah, a little blowy nose and, and all that kind of stuff, but it didn't get worse. Thank God, because I always take my, you know, taking my vitamins, took my orange juice and my pomegranate. I was juicing up the whole weekend, you know, didn't really have a big appetite, but I did eat. But, um, you know, I kept pumping myself, so... So thank God, but when I came back home, I rested, or I rested, I had off that Monday, plus I took off, had off that Tuesday. I went back to work today, but um, I left work early, like um, 2.30. Normally I work from 8 to 4, but I guess I got in about 9 o'clock this morning, and I left at 2.30, because I told my boss, you know, he know I've been feeling a little under the water, but I told him I was coming, but I'm going to leave early. I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow, probably go in at 8, maybe get off at 1. Um, you know, I may work a full day on Friday, we'll see. But, um, yeah, but it was a beautiful weekend, beautiful convocation. Oh my gosh, the Holy Word was just what we all needed. Uh, it was truly, truly comforting, um, truly, truly warnings. Uh, I mean, God knows what he, his people need. And we truly, truly go strictly, strictly from the Holy Scriptures. Because um, we know we have to live how God will have us to live in order to be with him in these last and evil days when he come back for his church and when he come back to end this world. I want to be with him. So my main focus in life is God first and everything else I do in life, I will keep him first. 
because he's the one going to get me through whatever I'm doing in life. Whatever personal thing I'm doing in life, I have to keep him first before it, make sure I'm doing it right, and him helping me with whatever it may be. I, I say it again, and I tell everybody, just keep God first and never give up, uh, especially if you're doing something that you are that you desire to do and it's right as long as it's in righteousness you know god got you but um but yes we brought in the new year at the convocation i wanted to get on here and say happy new year my beautiful people at cozy cottage but it's just been a whirlwind for about a month now and i wasn't feeling feeling very well and i didn't think about it once i got out of the service i went straight to bed but i'm feeling better now i'm back now um lord willing i will be doing uh, more videos this year um and just going over a lot of things I plan to do. So I'm praying, hoping things go well with what I'm planning to do, which I'll be showing that. And hopefully um, doing other videos that I've been talking to you guys about, you know, about doing different things um, to my home and everything and um, decorating and um, kind of painting over stuff and I, I plan to do that, Lord will, this year and showing you guys as I go along. Um, I have some plans. I have some plans and I'm praying that God be with me and help me through them and be able to show you guys a little bit more of what I do. But um, uh, the video is a little longer than I want it to be. I was trying to keep it to seven minutes. Um, I know I went strong last year when I first started and everything, and some of my videos were a little long. But this year, I'm trying to keep them a little short. Some of them may get a little long, you know, depending on what I'm doing. But just having conversation, I'm trying to keep it at least 7 to 10 minutes. But it's like 12 minutes now, and that's okay because it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. I'm just trying to update you on some things. Um... But yeah, I'm getting ready to get something to eat. I got some church work to do, um, and uh, I'm gonna do that and get something to eat, and then I'm gonna relax back because I'm trying to rest this body and get this body back pumped up and strengthened up, so I can get back on my feet again because it's time to clean my house up. Yeah. I'm cleaning up, disinfecting and everything. It's been a while because it's been so busy. Crazy, guys. Oh, my gosh. I can't even begin. Uh, but do you like my little little curly cues on my on my locks yes i still have my long locks down past my butt but um uh, my niece does my hair i got my hair done last what, what the pro two fridays ago uh and when she does it, i i wash and condition it real good and everything and then of course she take care of the root tighten my roots back up and um you know then she does a thing far as twirling curling the the locks around and you know she folds it up and wraps the locks around and then put a little bend on it in and, and hold it and I leave it in for a couple weeks depending on how I feel and then when I take it out it's so pretty and curly which I show you guys but I've been loving this because you know it's a little lighter on my head because my hair is just not hanging all down so mm probably next week I decide to take them out <laughs> and I have to show you guys but my niece does a wonderful job shout out to my Reapers her name is Reavy but I call her Reapers she's my Reapers but anyway guys um I hope um everything is going well and um and hope that you know your life that you decide if you haven't already that um, you seek after God in your life and, and begin to serve him and begin to learn of him and um, you know keep him in your life because truly these we are living in these last and evil days and it's it's getting bad out here you know but with God in my life I'm I'm learning to um, 
learning learning that no matter what goes on I have to keep my eye on the prize. I have to keep my eyes on him and just trust and believe him that he'll keep me, protect me, and um, um, and not let this chaos out in the world drive me crazy because that's what it's doing a lot of people. It's just driving them crazy and they're doing crazy things. And But God told us, told his people, told us, in the scripture, he tells us it's going to get worse out here, guys. And I know we see that how ugly and worse it's getting. But yeah, he's talking about it's going to get worse. He said, the people, these people out here will wax cold. And they have. They wax cold. They're out here just angry, killing, and just doing cold, cold stuff. And, you know, and you can get caught up in the mix of all that craziness chaos out there and you know and, and and be afraid to do this and do that and and drive yourself crazy because of everything don't do it keep your mind on god and let him give you peace because he's the only one that can give you peace on this earth right now because there's no peace on this earth right now because satan is running rapid he's out here to kill and destroy that's what he's he's on this earth to do but we have god that can keep him straight but a lot of people just give in to him and I choose not to do that. I choose to stay focused on God. And when I need to call God to help me when, you know, I'm going through or I know, you know, there's evil near me that's trying to hurt me, harm me, or de destroy, um, I call on God, y'all, and he's right there. He is right there. I can't even begin to tell you. You know, I, I'll be sitting here another 20 minutes and I'm not going to. And maybe someday I sit and talk to you guys. Guys about the goodness of the Lord and what he has done for me. I ain't going to be able to tell it all because it's so much. You know, but I can be able to tell you some of it. But I trust and believe him with God. It with all my heart, mind, body, and soul. But I'm gonna get ready to end this video, guys. Happy New Year! I pray that your your year be blessed and that you keep God in your life, keep Him before you in everything you do. And as always, never give up, guys. Never give up. If you're doing things in righteousness, just keep God before you. Ask Him to be with you, to help you, and just never give up. Because God can deliver you from anything. He can help you with anything. If it's His will, just hold on to Him and seek out for Him. Serve Him. And, guys, I love you all. I thank you for the few who have been with me. Uh, I know you probably said, well, she's done. she done gave up. Ah, no, no, no. I always tell you guys, never give up. Mm. Sister girl ain't giving up. No, sister girl just been busy. <laughs> I just been busy. And um, hopefully, Lord willing, God will kind of loosen things up for me so I can do more um, and do more that pleases me because I enjoy doing this. I enjoy talking to you, doing things and showing things to you. And it's just more I want to do, but I just got to get there. So I'm just going to keep continuing to pray to God, keep him first and continue to pop on here and just see how's everybody doing guys i just i love you and i hope you continue to move forward and whatever you're doing in your life you know just keep god first and and, and don't give up okay and i pray that you're doing well as far as your health and your families and all that um i pray for healing upon all of you we all need it, you know. We all go through the stuff, you know, with our bodies physically and with our minds mentally and praying that God just deliver and heal. So, as always, I love you guys. Never give up.
God can deliver you from anything if it's His will. Continue to serve Him. Strive to serve Him. Seek out Him. I can't begin to... Um, I, I'm going to just leave it there because it's just was so much goodness that happened this past weekend at the convocation with God. Y'all just don't know. <laughs> it's awesome. And I just... Sometimes I just, you know, I'm getting so filled up and I just want to talk about them. But it's been, it's 20 minutes in and I'm going to leave it alone. It's been a while, but I'm back, guys. Happy New Year. Today is January 4th, 2023. I'm so sorry I haven't been on these past few weeks or so. Um, but as you know, I've been busy. But. I am back, and um, I, I hope you guys continue to like my videos and tell other ones about it. Tell them to sub subscribe. Um, hit that notification button, okay? But I'm here. No matter what, I'm here. I just enjoy doing this. I love you guys. Have a good one.